Is this not a charm at this one? Eh? Who is after you? Ichie, nobody is after me. I was just coming to meet you. What happened? I hope all is well. Speak, speak. Ichie, all is not well. Ichie, I was just coming from your house now. Your family members want to kill each other now. You have to hurry home now. What? Again? Is it not what we are just talking? Talking. My son, you are coming. Well. Oh. Ah. What do you have to do? Hey, 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 I'm begging you! Eh? I, I, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for what happened to Nai Bikonu. I wouldn't want people to come here and see you on the floor. Look, I'm begging you. It will even be better that the whole villagers will come and see how you people push a chair like me to the floor. I'm not going to stand up here hmm. until you bring all the requirements. One white goat, two white cocks. Mm -hmm. Three tubers of yam. Hey! And two keg of palm wine. Hmm? Papa! If I will stand up here. You want to open pottery? It looks like he yeah. wants to open supermarket. The annoying part of it. If it's one of you could give it reasonable explanation for this childish act of yours. Your Majesty. The prince will be with you shortly. Why do you make it a point to disgrace the name of this family every day? Sorry, eh? Because that is why you don't have hairs here. No single hair. Thank you! Shame Thank you. you! I like I it more and more like you. this! Shame on you! Shame on you! Ah! Eh? Shame. You dare bound! Hold it there right now! Hold it! Yes, I'm talking to you! Ashamed of what exactly? I want to ask you! Ashamed of what? You are doing your baby like this and you're asking me a question! What question is that? Will someone be ashamed of fighting an evil woman and an evil child in our own house? No, I'm asking you! Wait, Tell me! Is it me? You are calling an evil woman. Yeah. You, you have seen it. You, oh, you think I don't know? Hey, I was say, I say, I say. You think I don't know? I know that you shamed him with your dark powers, and you also make him to take responsibility of this black witch standing here. Wait, 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 wait. Tell, tell, tell. Did I hear you well? You heard me loud and very clear. Yes. Oh, you think I am afraid of you? Oh, you think I'm afraid of these eyes? You think you can share me with them? You have just told a lie. Oh, I say, you have told a black fat white lie. That is what you have just said. Shalom. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Yes? I, I, I'm sure you are ready to carry the market you bought for yourself. And I'm very sure your daughter has the goods to supply. Hey, come on, run! Yes. I need to see it, to see 
understand the reason for this argument this morning. What do you want me to say? What else do you want me to say? You don't understand. Now tell me, what is stopping you from proposing marriage to her? Is she not beautiful enough? I mean, why have you not made your intention known to her? That my intentions towards her has no color, no size, no height of any marriage at all. You are very stupid to say that, Anthony. Huh? Is she not beautiful enough? So what have you been doing all this while? Oh. So she's only good at warming your bed, right? Dad, come on. She's been the one jumping on my bed at will. Did you just say that? <sighs> yeah, see, I have to go now. I will see you when I come back, okay? Anthony! Step an inch close to that door. Then I will make you understand why they call me Otigulago. Let's go. Let's go away. You don't know. You don't know that much, Jack Papali. Mama, I've checked now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she did not follow us to this place. How yes, can she be chasing us to this place of Bonyala? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay, let's go. Let's what? go. Uh, take the lead now. Who? Mm. Me or you? You, yeah. you are younger than me. Let's go. No, Mama, you are my mother. Uh, take the lead. You, you are the uh, elder. Wait. Mama. You are saying wait. I ask you to check. You are saying wait. What are you waiting? Hey, Mama. Somebody is coming. Who is that? I don't know. Let me check. Check, check. Let me check, check if she's the one. I told you to check. You see, I'm checking. Hey, Mama. It's not the one. Move with Simba. I should move. I'm moving now. You're jumping. You're jumping. Come, let's go. Let's go. Come, follow Maybe me. Maybe I'm not afraid. Follow me, boy. What are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey,
you come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Come here. Yes. Let me peep. Let me observe. Come here. Come here. Let me check. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this girl would be lurking somewhere around here. She even pursued her uncle. Hey! Chim, 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 chim. I knew it. Hey! Hey! What is that? Hey, hey, hey! Mama? What is that? Um, you know, you're very, you're very stupid. It's nothing, no, it's incense. It's, 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 it's incense. <laughs> that is why you want to let my heart skip out of my body. Sorry. What is wrong with you? Sorry. What is sorry? sorry. Eh? I told you, you refused. Speak very well, speak very well. Look at my mother. <laughs> Mama, you are very funny. Do you know that when when someone sees you the way you fight and talk to people in here, people they will think that you you, you are the strongest. Can you even know that small girl, just small girl like the baby can even frighten you. See how scared you, you are. You are very very stupid. Huh? You are a very stupid girl. Me, I don't blame you. Who told you I'm afraid of small girl? I have a trauma. A small girl like you pursued your mother here. Instead of you to go and fight, you're talking this nonsense. Okay? Me? Yes, you. I should go and fight. Ha! Mama Biko Bodoku Yadel. Don't just include me. How do you expect me to go and fight somebody with axe? Yeah. With an axe? Ubabu person now, run your race, I'll run my race. Ha! You'll be putting it's me into a problem. Huh? Come. I should come. Don't come, stay there. Mama, I'm not coming. We'll run your race, I'll run my race. You may know. Is it not personal? It's personal. Obabu personal, Mama. Obankabu personal. Ah, look at what you've made me go through. I mean, I'm hiding. I cannot even go to my father's house. In peace. Mama! Can we do it? Mama, no, no, wait for me. Mama, Mama, to the problem. She's coming! Hey! I'm <laughs> so you can fear. I'm not fear. I thought she was coming too. Uh, let's go. go. Don't worry. I will wait for some time before I go. Hey, you have to wait. I will Yeah, let's go. Let's go. She's not coming. Let's go. Uh. Anthony, my son, you will. I can assure you that you will. Look, I have promised. Ukadike, and I am not the man that goes back on his words. Father, those words I will give him without me in the picture, and I will not allow them to make me lose weight at all. Anthony, in case you've forgotten, let me remind you I am the king, and my word is law. You are going to marry Tolia. There's nothing you can do about it. Father, with all due respect, I will disappoint you in this. I am not going to marry Tonya. Yes, I will not marry her. I, I cannot do that just to just to fulfill your agreement with her father, Ukadike. Father, I cannot do that. This is my life. I cannot trade my life for anything. Not even to strengthen the family alliance of the Ukadikes. Antonio, will you shut up? I said, shut up! How dare you? Look, I am the king of kings in this state. I am the first class king in Nigeria. Nobody, nobody ridicules me. Not even you. Now you better get prepared to marry Tonya. If not, we will see the other side of me as the king, the great king that I am. Too much trouble. 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 Too
Trouble not the finish. What can I put I don't know. 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 I I don't know if you need I this one, you and your daughter are walking in fear. I hope all is well. You are very stupid. You are very, very stupid. Who is working with you? And by the way, what is your business? We work the way we choose to work. What's your business? I know, Pama. The way you and your daughter are working is very suspicious. Suspicious, kill you again. Suspicious, I swear, Danya. I know, Pama. Yeah? They are coming from our compound. Okay? Did you by any means see maybe she around that area? I saw her in the front of your compound. It's a big ass. But wait, oh. is she the one you and your daughter are afraid of? Yes. You are mad. You must be very Get stupid. Come on, let this person jump. No, no, no. Let him wait for me. Let him wait for me. Jump. You are busy. You are mad. Mama, 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 wait for me. Don't worry. Leave him. Let's go. We should go. Yes, let's go. I'm off here. Let's go. Eh? Idiot. Mm. Let's, go. let's go. Yeah. As we are going, be looking, be looking. Eh. Because Pamela, you'll be the first person to take off. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Mama, come now, come Mama, back. Let's come. think. Let's think of what to do. What are you saying? Is that not the That is not her. Let's go. Okay. Hey, I thought you are Abba and Why? Why you are know. looking scared? What kind of daughter is this? Thank God I ran. What could I have told my ancestor had that axe landed on my head? That I died because of goats and cock. To Fiawa. To Fiawa. Aro. I hope my brother is safe wherever he is now. But wait. Oh. Where did she get all those guards from? I wonder if they gave me the wrong child from the hospital. Mama, Alpha, did you see her? Mama, she's still there, standing like a security guard. Hey! She's not willing to leave them. It means we are not going into my father's house. When that that girl one? is trying me, Amaka. That girl is trying me. I will deal with her. Huh? Yeah, I will, I will grind her. I will scatter her. I will blow. Mama, 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 mama. Pico, pico, pico. Calm down. Calm down, Pico. We've been running for a few hours because of Nebechi. And now you are here talking of what you do to her. Are you not even afraid? Since you know you do something to her, why didn't you do it all this while and save us from this drama and, and disgrace and stress of running around the village? Mama, I'm tired. You have to do something, Pico. Amaka, yeah. Mama, come on, let me tell you something. Oh, yes. Yeah, you see, eh? Must you oh! talk like an idiot? Oh, Mama, my ear. Yes. Mama, my ear. Must you talk like an idiot? It is bad enough that you are soft as an agony. Yes, must you be stupid as well? Uh, Mama, do you have to drag my ear? I will continue to drag it. I will drag it from now till the end of the world. Mama, my ear is even paining me. It has not started because I will repeat it around two. I don't want fear. What is it? Mm. Mama, but it's not my fault. I'm not the problem here. It's Nebechi. Yeah. Uh, you have to know what to do to Nebechi and make my father stand up from that ground, though. Me, I'm tired, though. Your father? Is it, is it even your fault? It's my fault. Uh -huh. It is my fault. Okay. No, no problem. 
fault. It's not my fault. Don't worry. <laughs> You're talking about your father, Okoya? Your father, Okoya? Let him stay there. From now to whenever he thinks he wants to stand up from there, that is his business. It has nothing to do with me. Huh? Mama? Yes? Ha! Huh. Mbakwa, I have to know what to do to my father to make him stand up from there. Didn't you hear what he said? He said he's not going to live there until you meet his requirements. Amaka, is your father a deity? Mban, I'm asking you. Is your father a deity that I must appease? Answer me! Is he a deity? I must buy goats. I must buy what again? Oil. I must buy what? Cock. Cock. And what again? Unzu. Unzu and the. Uh, Pam Pamwine. No fear. He will sleep there forever. Mama. What my, is it? My father is an Ichio. He's an Ichio. And you know what that means? Go and beg him to stand up. Amaka, there's something you don't know. You see that time that Nebeshi took that axe, eh? Your father, fiam, he has left. He will never, he will never remain there. Your father is a weakling. He will never remain there. His assault is even worse off than you. Yes. Yes, than you. Like father, like daughter. Hey. No fear. She can't meet him. He wants to stand up. Or he doesn't want to stand up. Let him remain there. Mama. He's looking for goat and crayfish and whatever to eat. Let him sleep. Let me ask you something. Mm. Don't be offended. No. Why do you like trouble? You ask me why I like trouble. I will not answer you. Ah. What is the problem? You, 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 you look worried. What happened? Where's my brother? He has gone. And your daughter? She's outside the gate. You people will hear from me. Nah, I hear from you. Kwa. If there are people that will hear from you, there should be Ngozi and her foolish daughter. Not, not me and my own daughter. And I... Too much water, I will not finish you. Too much trouble, I don't know what can I find. I will not finish you. What can I for joining? I don't know what I am on the bed. I will pull up with no canila. I will not know if I was a cable. If I was a cable, I will pull up with no canila. I will not Has hot water. If we go to Sabu every day, kata kata wawa. When you be alone, to a dick and get a bugle. Has hot water. Sabu. I got the nun on a tapisio. So be careful if I put when any. You can't so be a um, Prince Anthony, I can't remember seeing you like this because I know you had the way of dealing with issues like this. Exactly, that's because I can't grasp the rationale of my father's will to assert his lordship over me. Yes, and this is no longer funny. Oh. You know that he, he he bottled me to a corner for a long time. I mean, it's no it's no longer funny. Oh, I see. Marine Tonya here is obviously not the issue. Your father, the king, and his authoritative stance is I, I, exactly, exactly. Uh, I mean, I, I, why would he want to treat me like a child? Huh? Why would he? Um, I couldn't just concentrate at the office today because of this. Uh, my friend, I truly really understand how you feel. But you have to calm down so that you can win him over this. I cannot calm down. If you truly understand, you cannot tell me to calm down. 
You're welcome. Thank you very much. So, how did it go? Your Majesty, it was really a tough one. Well, I, I expected that. Uh, I knew it was not going to be a smooth ride all the way. Yes. However, um, what was the outcome? Uh, were you able to convince them? Yes, Your Majesty. Like I said, it was really a tough one. But I was able to convince them. But on the condition that he will sign a treaty that on no account will he sideline them in the future ever again. Fair enough. You see, you know, I am willing to do anything and everything for the sake of the royal household and the entire kingdom. Right? Um, I think what you need to do now is to invite their representative so that we can uh, start the process immediately. Right? Oh, was <laughs> one of Quara Kingdom. I can see that the, the blood of your late father runs in your veins. <laughs> and wherever he is, we will be proud of what you are doing right now. Ah. That's oh wonderful. no. Yes. Anyway, thanks for the kind words. Yes. You see, there are three virtues that I uphold dearly. And these are peace, unity, and inclusiveness. They are very high standards that I have set for myself. And I will maintain them at any cost. <laughs> well... This reminds me of the day you ascended the throne of your fathers. And the speech you made and every other thing that followed on that day. <laughs> it was wonderful. Hi. Are you going out already? What does it look like? But you did not touch the food I served you. Which food? Your food. Oh no! <laughs> so you have just proven that uh, your brain is still very active. After so many years, oh, yes. as it was back in those days, <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> this is the same old Alicia Mecca that you know. Age has nothing to do with the ability of one to remember things. <laughs> Well, um, all you just remembered is a proven testimony that uh, I should uphold my principles. I should not back down on them. So, all that needs to be done have to be done before the offer. Exactly, Igwe. This will offer us an undivided attention in the preparation of this offer land. And you see, this is a good news of my group. Now, talking about the offer land, what about the crown prince? What about him? Igwe, you know that your son cannot celebrate two offer as a single man. After his enthronement as a crown prince, he has to choose a bride. Whom he must present before the elders, the council of elders, rather, within four months before the father. Oh no, this is actually a big problem for me. I've been having a running battle with my son, the prince, for almost a year now because of this issue. He keeps rejecting all my choices of women for him. I mean, it appears his standards are way too high. Igwe, 
it is not your duty to choose a bride for the prince. Because even your father, the late king, abolished the tradition that the king should not choose a bride for the crown prince. You should allow the prince to choose a bride for himself. Look, Olu, this is not a question of tradition. I know my son very well. He is very hardworking. He is a wise young man. But when it comes to the issue of women, he lacks the capability to choose the right one. Because the kind of woman he needs is someone who can complement this his uh, good qualities, okay? So I, I have um, gone through a whole lot of trouble trying to get a woman that is perfect to complement his good qualities. And I think the one he's dating right now is a perfect one to play that role. You mean he's seen one already? Of course. He's seen one. Um, she's the daughter of the secretary to the state government. You know, he has gotten the tickets for the next uh, governorship election. Is to be our next governor. I see. Then why the delay? It should go ahead and act fast to avoid stories that touch. That's what if you get one, it's so every day. Kata kata. Yes. Are you not the one I've been calling since? I've been you blind for a year. Yeah, ne bitch. Please, I am not cut out for your troubles this month. Do you hear me? Please, just leave me alone. Oh, you are not cut out for my own sobu this morning. Napugaka. Hmm. To so bad. No problem. Yeah. What was that charade you did at the market for? It all depends on what you refer as charade. Do you know what? I would advise you to go to that market and sort yourself out with those market people, and not me. You look at the women putting that also everywhere. Eh? What <laughs> Because I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Like I said, I was actually going to your house before I met you here. Jello, Jello, wait. Was this the reason you displayed like a mad person there? Me, mad person. Both of us know who the mad and crazy one is. Mona give me no give onyala, onyala yawa. Because what is it again? Is it not too early to make troubles? What is it this time? I will not repeat myself. Chingwe, I will not repeat myself. Who cut my plantain this morning? Your plantain? You heard me. <laughs> Point of correction, my dear co-wife. That plantain belongs to everyone in this family. And if you must know, I needed to prepare plantain porridge for my husband, so I cut it. You can as well take from the bunch if you care. Thunder will fire you, dear. Thunder fire you, dear Chingwe. But the after the disgrace you and your prodigal daughter gave to me yesterday, you still have the guts to go and cut my plantain. And you have the nerves to ask me to take from the bunch. Yes. Because that plantain belongs to everyone. Not only you. Excuse me. I should excuse you. I should excuse you. Okay? You must excuse me. If you know what is good for you, Jim, go to the market and buy that same plantain and come and replace it. Says who? Me, of course. The only 
legitimate wife in this house. <laughs> Opoha, my brother. I understand your anger. Eh? But please forgive me. Eh? Don't make it look as if I planned it. At least you cannot see what your brother is going through in that house. Huh? Ibe, my brother. It is not as if you planned it. I know you did not plan it. But thinking that an Ichi like me will run the way I did like a child in a broad daylight saddens me. Uh -uh. It saddens me, Ichi. What if that axe has landed on my head? Huh? What just if? But the most important is it did not. <sighs> huh? And please, Okoha, my brother. All I need now is how to stop those madness before it will take me to my early grave. What can I want to What can I want What else can we do? The worst is that they cannot listen to anybody. Hmm? Exactly my point. Exactly my point, my brother. But we need to do something regardless. Because you are right, my brother. After all, Eji and Babu are wrong. Oh. Mm, we have to do something. Okay. We will do something. Biko, by the way, where are your wives? They were in the house when I left the house. Ah. Yes. Okay. Let us go to your house. You want to be very. Will you shut your daddy mouth? Shut it up! Don't leave me alone! Don't leave me alone! Don't leave me alone! Don't leave no sense. No, what is the meaning of this? This is not over yet. Ah, you have not seen anything I've yet. I've not seen anything Will yet. Will you stop that because before I quiet. cause both of you Is it because I've been quiet? No problem. Come and touch me again. Because I've been quiet. Because I've been quiet, eh? She will. Touch me! Let me just tell you. Uh, 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 not until you and that your daughter leaves this place. You will not have Leave this. where? This house. We are not going anywhere. Eh? I am not going that anywhere. Wait, 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 I'm wait, not, wait, I'm not wait, going wait, 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 wait. Did you fight with anybody? Is it not the victim? She she fought me on my way back from the market. Hey! <laughs> have you seen it? <laughs> yeah, 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 have you seen it? <laughs> have you seen it now? I'm asking you. Have you seen it? Have you seen what you have brought this witch? And I don't have to Who are you calling it? a witch? You. Me a witch. Yes, you are a witch. <laughs> you are a witch. You are even lucky oh, that you are your witch. foolish daughter came back alive in the other. You are lucky that she came back alive. Is it and you see, God must tell from you. Eh? I will strike you with this thing. In a parlor, what is your problem? And you too? Me too. What did I do? Why are you all silent? Why can't you speak now? Huh? My wife, we really want to know where all these problems is coming from. So that we can solve it and put an end to this. Nayokwa, there's no need asking all these questions. We all know that Ngozi is the problem here. She's the only one that touts and pick up fights with me at every opportunity. Thereby creating the enmity between my daughter and her daughter. So you people should ask her what her problem is. Nenia Johnny. Ngozi, you heard what uh, your co-wife said. What do you have to say? Say what exactly? What do you want me to say? You people made me sit down here. To listen to this thing with all the nonsense coming from my mouth. Okay? You go see my wife calm down. We only want to find a solution to all this problem oh. so that peace can reign. That's not peace. Peace is what? Where? Pop! Excuse me, which peace are you even talking about? Is it the one that owns that chemist shop at the market square? Oh, the crippled one at the next village. Listen, let me tell everyone sitting down here right now. Eh? Hey. Not until this woman and her child leave this house. There's nothing like this. Mama! Hey! Mama now! You look quiet! Mama, baby! Shut up! You see, Mama now! What are you Mama! 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 Mama!
You let me just try something. Get your get this side. I'm not here. That mama that you mama. It's your. Have you seen it? No. It's your. You have seen it now. Oh. You have seen what the problem is already. You forgot here. You said it! <laughs> Fighting cannot solve this situation. If not, quarreling cannot solve you. Give a shame on you! Shame! Useless man! How many months? Just a few months into our marriage, you cannot take care of me. If I go and ask your mates what they do to take care of their wives. All you do is come back to the house with stories every day. You are just a useless man. Ibe, you are so useless. Useless man! Shame on you! Ibe! Where are you going to? Ibe, where are you going to? Come back here! Shameless man! Shame! Shame! It's only a useless man that fights and run away. Come back and meet your wife! You come back and meet me here. I don't even know how I ended up with this kind of any good for nothing man. Rubbish! You come back! You want me to die of hunger? Did I beg you to marry me? Did I beg you to marry me? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. No problem. It's fine. But if, if I may ask, why are you always lost in thought anytime you're walking on the road? What is it? Sorry? I don't understand. Okay. The other day I saw you when a bicycle could knock you down because you were not looking. And now this. What is eating you up? What is it? Please, I don't know what you're talking about. Please, uh, excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Sometimes, you might find a brother's shoulder in a total stranger to lean on. My shop is down the road. Free, free. Just come, let's talk. If, if you don't mind. That is it. Hmm. I have heard the story you just said to me. And I feel deeply sorry about your situations. But why would bad financial issues make a handsome and prospective man like you go through all this? People go through all this and still stand strong. Yeah, I know, but but the pressure from my people has become unbearable for me to handle. And the place I work, they are here to reinstate me or pay me what I'm due. I understand. I understand you perfectly, trust me. But what if the bicycle that hit you was a car and gave you a big injury? What are you going to do? Is it going to solve your problems or compound it? I thought as much. Would you okay? You will be fine. You just have to calm down. I live in this compound as well. You're free to visit me anytime you want. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're always welcome. So, um, what can I offer you? <laughs> Thank you, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. What? I hope you came back with good news. Is that supposed to be a welcome? Do you deserve a welcome? No, Ibe, answer me! Do you deserve a welcome? The money. Ngozi, please, I don't have the time this afternoon. I don't have the money. bring the money. Give me money, oh. Give me money. I've been hungry since money. Give me money. Ngozi, leave the way. Let me pass. You're not entering this house. 
Because leave the way, let me pass. Ibe, this house will not contain. Ibe, Ibe, this house will not contain both of us today. What is wrong with you now? Ngozi, what's, what's all this? Give me money. I did not beg you to come and marry me. Okay. You cannot carry me all the way from my father's house and come and be maltreating me and be suffering me. Okay, Give me up. money. Eat me up now. Okay. Eat me up. What's the meaning of all this now? Ngozi, let me go. Let me go. Ibe, Ibe, you're beating me up. Ibe is beating me up. Ibe is beating me up. So tell me, how did it go with the railway corporation? Any luck? Nope. They denied me audience as usual. Hmm. Too bad. You know, that is how it has been for over four months now. And I'm forced to live with it. Hmm. That is bad. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask. Are you from this village? No, I'm from the neighboring village. But I live close to the boundary. So my house is very close to this place. That reminds me, what about your parents and your siblings? You don't seem to talk about them at all. My parents are late. What? Yes. They died in an automoto accident with my only brother two years ago. It's just me. So sorry. Please accept my heartfelt sympathy. It's fine. Thank you. But you don't look like someone that has lost her family. How do you manage to be this strong? Yeah, you're right. Mean. I've gone past it. Life goes on. Oh. I try to pick the pieces of my life and move on. But my uncle has been so supportive. Okay. But still, I still have to be strong. True. And, you know, move on with my life. And that is what I want you to do with your life. As you can see, I'm better than yesterday. Mm. I can see. Isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm happy that you're smiling today. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh, I have to stop here. Okay. Do you know I left my shop open? Yes, that's true. Uh, you've really tried. Thank you for everything, my good friend. I really appreciate it. You're always welcome. <laughs> I think you have to go now. Yes. It's getting dark. Yes, yes, yes. I'll check up on you anytime soon. Okay? All right. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Yay. Yeah, 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 I am I am still trying to understand why you called me out here by this hour of the night. What is it now? Eh? But I have said everything now, haven't I? You have said nothing. As far as I'm concerned, you have said absolutely nothing. So you want me to believe that you brought me all the way from my father's house and just within how many months of marriage you can no longer perform your duties and take care of me as you used to do and you want me to understand that eh you just said as i used to that means i was doing my job as a husband hmm. not until i was unceremoniously dismissed from my workplace and so not until I was ceremoniously dismissed from my workplace all the time. And so, so I should live in the past and die of hunger. 
Is that what you're saying? Ngozi, all I'm saying is that you should be patient. Everything will be fine. See, all I need from you now is you should support at this difficult time. Okay, take for example now. For about four months now, four months, you have refused me to touch you. How are we supposed to stay together, live together as a couple? <laughs> hey, Ibe. Now I see the main reason behind this meeting. Ibe, you are shameless. You are very shameless. Wait, too. So you will shamelessly make love to me on an empty stomach. Eh? Ha! See, let me tell you something. You will not have the right to touch me until you start performing your duties as the man of the house. Good night. Where's my food? There is no food. Ngozi, your husband is not feeling fine. I went out there to get some drugs. Coming back now, you are eating the remaining food in the house. How do you expect me to take my drugs without eating? Ibe, your wife has not eaten since how many years now? And you expect me to leave the remaining food in the house for you simply because you want to take medication. Only a selfish and a foolish man will think like that. Because what's wrong with you now? What's wrong with you? Okay, how do you expect to, to, to take these drugs now? Ah. What am I going to do now? The chemist warned that I should eat well before taking the pills. But how do I find something to eat now? I don't have any money on me. And my brother is not yet back since he traveled. I can't go borrowing either because I'm yet to pay back the ones I borrowed from people. I don't have money so it could be worse if the sickness is deep into my body. I think I have to go. Ibe, what is wrong? Why are you like this? What's going on? I... I... Oh, ju just hold on. Let me take you inside, okay? Just come. Now that you've taken the drugs, I think you need to lie down and rest. That is, if you can. Thank you, but I need to leave now. My... Nothing will happen to you. Just rest. You can leave when you're much better. Come on, don't bite. Is that a yes? Okay, let me take this thing off. How do you feel now? Much better. Mm. Uh, 
It's in there. Uh, what's it by the time now? Oh, it should be past one o'clock. What? Please, I, 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 I want to start going now. Are you so sure? Yes, yes. I need to go now. Are you sure? Yes, yes. But don't you think you need to rest a little? No, I, I'm waiting now. I need to go now. Uh, okay, you can see your. Okay. Uh, I know it's hard for you to say or admit it, but I know what is going on. I saw what happened earlier today. But oh, please, accept this little token for me. And I'll be very angry if you don't accept it. Why, why, are, you, why are you giving me all this? See, it feels awkward receiving things from you. I supposed to be the one giving to you. There's no law that said you must give me. Okay? Just accept it. Okay, fine. You can pay me back anytime you you are fit to do so. Please, just accept it. Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Um Okay, let me just excuse me. Please, my friend, please do, do help me. Do this for me. I know you are the only one that I can run to to do this for me right now. Please. Ibe, how did you expect me to walk this motorcycle without any part payment from it? Ibe, you are asking too much and you know it. This is too much. See, I don't have enough money. That's why I'm asking you to do this for me. See, immediately I start working, I'll come and pay you immediately. I promise you that. You know, the only money I have right now, I want to use it to fuel the motorcycle so I can start working. Please. Does it occur to you that I need to buy some engine spare parts so I can walk that motorcycle very well? Yes, I know, but you know, I don't have enough money. I don't have money with me. That's why I'm, I'm begging you to do this for me. Please. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for me and my wife. It's even difficult for us to even eat these days. I'm telling you. Please, my friend, help me. Ibe, the truth is this. I'm trying to help you. But this is too much. This is too much. Ah, what is too much? Please, I'm begging you now. Okay, would you uh, would rather allow me and my wife to die of hunger? Or would you like it when you hear that I, 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 I was caught stealing? Would you like it? That's why I'm begging you to help me. <sighs> See, my, my elder brother traveled to Uganda myself for over six months now. And he's here to come back. You are the only one I have right now that can help me. That's what I'm begging you. Help me, please. It's okay. You can bring the motorcycle. But we will have a concrete agreement on how you are going to pay me if I repair this motorcycle. Of course, you don't have any problem. You don't have any. I will pay you immediately. Should I go and bring it now? No, no, not today. As you can see, I have, I have work I'm doing here now. Bring it tomorrow, bring it tomorrow, so I can concentrate on this one. <laughs> Thank you very much. But Thank agreement much. is agreement. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No I'll bring it first in tomorrow, man. No I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's okay. It's Thank okay. you very it's much. Okay. It's okay, okay. Thank you. Because I have good news for you. It better be good news. If not, you will regret disturbing me with it if it's not. Hey, come on. See, don't worry. This one will interest you. The mechanic has agreed to repair my motorcycle for me on credit. <laughs> Is that the good news? Come on, Ngozi. So I can use it to make money for us now. Mm. For your information. I've sold the motorcycle to those people that deal on scrap. Ngozi! I don't condemn. Ngozi, it's a, it's, a, it's a lie! It's a lie! Ngozi! Ngozi! Ngozi, you, you, you did what? Ngozi! What did you do? 
go see you with this boy. Because why? What, what have you done? Why are you shouting over a grand grand motorcycle? Motorcycle that had to beg I don't condemn, I don't condemn people. I, I pleaded with them. They said the thing doesn't even have use. Ungozi, that's our only potential source of livelihood. God forbid. Why didn't you ask me first, Ungozi? Why? God forbid. For a grand grand motorcycle to be my only source of livelihood. God forbid. Please tell me, who did you sell the motorcycle to so that I can go, I can go and re recover it back? Recover what? Ah, I beg. Don't even go there. Recover what? <laughs> I said I'll go and recover the motorcycle. Ungozi! How about the money? Money that I've eaten already. Hey! Ungozi! Ungozi, you have killed me! Ungozi, why? Even why? Even why? Why are you punishing me? Even why? Hey! Ungozi! Hey! Hey! Ungozi, you have killed me. Hmm. <laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> It's been so, so soft. Come on, Arya. What are you doing? What just happened? Did we? You grabbed me. You made sexual advances on me. Well, I, I tried to stop you. But you, you should have stopped me. This shouldn't have happened. You know, I was drunk. I know you were drunk. But behind that drunkenness lies a man that needs sexual satisfaction and care. I lost my virginity on the process. Look, I have fallen in love with you. Yes. You are still a virgin? I was a virgin a few hours ago. Not anymore. Look, Ibe. I love you. Yes, I do. No man has made me feel the way you made me feel. Please. What exactly is the problem? Am I not beautiful enough? What have I done? How on earth did I end up sleeping with Chinwei? Oh God! I know my wife has not been the best, but that is not enough reason to cheat on her. That is all my fault. I should have told Chinwei that I am married. This wouldn't have happened if I had opened up to her. How will I break the news to her now? How will I tell her that I am married without hurting her feelings? That girl has been so nice to me and deserves better. My husband! <laughs> My handsome husband! <laughs> you What's look good. On? Welcome. My husband, you are welcome. Hope you do not stress today. Oh. Come and sit down. Sit like a king. My king. Ah! You are welcome, my husband. <laughs> my handsome husband. Ngozi, what's happening? Uh-uh. My husband. I know my husband again. Why are you sounding as if it's wrong for me to welcome my husband? Yes, I know, but this... I... I this... Come on, my husband. Don't worry. I made your favorite. Really? Yes. And that will not be all. 
because we still have other things to do in the bedroom. You know, it's been a while. Eh? <laughs> My husband, you're too handsome. Ngozi, <laughs> tell me what is happening. Is this a dream? It's not a dream. My husband, relax. Let me show you something. Relax, so. Ah! You are handsome! Oh God, I have eyes. <laughs> Yeah. Look at it. Open, open, open. <laughs> wow! Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God for this. Yes, so. Finally. You mean Mr. Johnson and Chihuahua were here this today? Yes, so. Yes, so. My husband, they came and they were apologizing. They said they are very sorry for all that happened, the waste of time, all that they have put you through. Eh? They said they were going to pay all that is due, compensate you and reinstate you into the company. Oh, thank you, Lord. Even, thank you. They even said you should go to their house tomorrow morning. Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. Thank you for answering my prayers. Amen. You know what? Someone once told me that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I can see the light. No wonder the sudden change in my targets of life. Yes. Come on, my husband. Eh? All that is in the past now. You know I love you. I love you so much. Uh, you love me yes. because money is now talking. My husband. Do, do, do you know what you have made me to go through? I am sorry. I am sorry, my dear husband. Um, um, I promise to make it up to you. Well, it's okay. It's okay. You know, and, and everything that matters to me right now is that I have my wife, my life, and my family back to me again. Yes, so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you, my husband. Ah! Sorry yeah. for all the stress. Go, 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 go. I'm so excited. Let me save you. Go! Let me go. Go! Ibe, mm. mm. why? Why didn't you tell me? Believe me, Chinwe. I don't know how or why I didn't tell you. It was never my intention to cheat on my wife or to take advantage of your innocence and your benevolence towards me. But I was drunk that day. I was drunk. I didn't know what happened. Everything happened all of a sudden. Believe me. That's why I, I stayed away from you all this while. Hebe, what was my offense? What wrong did I do to you other than to love and care for you? All these things wouldn't have happened if you have told me from the onset. No. Oh, you choose to deceive me. You may look me in the face and tell me if I deserve this. Do I truly deserve this? No, Chinwe, you don't. I'm so sorry for being a coward. I know I should have told you. You don't deserve this for, for your good heart. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed for... I'm pregnant. What? Tread me. Chewy. You're what? My husband, my husband. Ah. Hope oh, there is no problem, my husband. I didn't even know you were back. Um, hope all is okay. Everything is fine. 
Just that I had a very rough day at work today. I'm just stressed out. I understand my husband. In that case, you just go in and take your bath. We have something very important to cheer you up. What is it? Um, well, you are going to be a father very soon. No. Ngozi, you are pregnant. Ngozi, you are pregnant. <laughs> 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 Because you're pregnant. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a hug. I love you so much. You are pregnant. Yes. Don't worry, I'm going to surprise you. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. I know it is my fault for what happened between me and Chinwe, but Ngozi was part of it too. In fact, I probably wouldn't have met Chinwe if she was a good and supportive wife when things were very bad. Chinwe provided that and more. She even fell in love with me when she knew I had nothing to offer, but what should I do? How best should I handle the situation without further hurting her? She was there when the chiefs were down and deserves to be around now that I have made a great comeback. I think I have to take a quick action before it is true. What? I hope this is a joke. I wish I am, but it is not. Then you must be out of your mind. Ibi, I said you must be out of your mind. So this is what you have been doing behind me. Ibe, you have been cheating on me. I am sorry I did, but I'm only trying to explain to you how it all happened. It's not as if I planned to, but, but you- Eh, hey, you were drunk. You were drunk when you were doing it. That is what you're trying to tell me. So all these stories you have been telling me is to make me feel guilty and blame me for what you did. Then justify your own actions, right? No, I was only trying to explain to you how it all started. <laughs> I know I was at fault as well. Ibe, look, let me tell you. It is bad enough that you cheated on me. But bringing your mistress into this house is over my dead body. You better find a way to settle her wherever she is. Because I will not share this house with another woman. Rubbish! I know it's not going to be easy. But I have to do what is right this time. Chinwe, we have a baby in this house as my wife. Hi. <clears throat> this is 26 years I've been living in hell. From one problem to another. For 26 whole years. Jeez. 
Do you know I almost forgot about it? What's happening? I've been for there already. I don't change my bitch. you can see. <laughs> Obviously you're fine, you know. It's like someone woke up from good side of the bed this morning. No, oh, you notice. <laughs> yes. Well, the thing is, my friend Jane is having a morning birthday party and we will be attending as a couple. Babe, calm down first, okay? Let me ask you something. You came to my office this morning just to tell me about a birthday party. On a Tuesday morning. Who does that? A birthday party on a Tuesday morning? Well, my girlfriend. Look, she just wants something out of the ordinary. It's more like a badge in one of her father's bar lounge. And then from there we head to the beach. From the beach we go to Golden Villa <laughs> to Mama Paul's. I jump on purse. Baby, it's just a birthday party. Yes, I know it's just a birthday party, but it can go along, okay? I've already arranged my day, have a schedule for the day. I can, I can, I can just, I can just stand up and go for a birthday party. This is just past 10 a.m. in the morning, Tuesday morning, for that matter. Even at that, I can't even spare my morning just for a birthday party. You know? Come on, I can do that, okay? My dear, as you can see, I'm so busy here. I can't do that, okay? So sorry. I knew you were going to say that. For you? Anthony, how can you be so uncompromising? Why can't you just lose it up at least for once? Chief Ukadike. <laughs> oh, yes. I agree to you. I know you are a great man, a volcano whose heat force is greater than thousands of furnaces. The Toscano that leaves rumbles in his wake. I greet you. You are a great man indeed. Oh yes, I know. Yes, uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to come. But I'm sending my son to represent me. And I'm sure he's capable of doing a good job. Yes, um, you know, my Ofala is uh, fast approaching. Yes, and that is why I cannot leave the palace right now. Yeah, I know, I know. That is why I want him to come so that uh, 
You know what I mean. You can have a quiet time with him. Oh, yes. Ah, come on. <laughs> you can trust me. Okadike himself. Odumne Buagu. Yes. <laughs> My incoming governor. I trust you. Oh, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. You are my in-law. Nothing will shake that. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, please send me word to your beautiful queen, okay? All right. Bye. <sighs> Okali came himself. Tonya, babe, what's up? I just feel bad. Like, after everything I've said to people. I understand. I, I know this is about Antonia's rigid attitude towards you. But listen, if there's anybody that is supposed to feel bad right here, it is me. Please, I don't want you to ruin my day. Oh, I don't feel bad. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is going to be alright, okay? Now, where is my. No, I'm pretty smart. Very good. I'm going to go in there and act like nothing is going on. Okay? Babe. Hey. Yeah, yeah, everyone is looking for you. Okay. So I do. Yeah, let's go. Oh, no. no. I don't call for such laughing section. You know. It does. Anyway, you're right. But you wouldn't blame me for laughing at Lang. I, I knew. Who does a birthday party on a Tuesday morning like this? Who else if not Tonya and her group of friends? Those girls are something else. You mean Tonya and her friends? Yes. You can say that again. Um, Chris Anthony, you have been with this girl for God knows how long. I wonder why she still behaves the way she does. This is unlike you for God's sake. That girl is a couch head who only prefers the front part of it. A perpetual phone seeker. Can you imagine? This girl asking me to go and catch phone with her on a Tuesday morning. Who does that? Can you imagine? I can imagine it, Prince Anthony. Prince Anthony, what I cannot understand is you haven't been able to change this girl. This is unlike you for God's sake. Change who? Tony. It's like you don't you don't know that girl. Her character is is a default. At this point, I don't think there's something else I can do. There is a lot for me to do, Prince Antonio. It's obvious you're fond of this girl. Judging from who you are, it's only one thing: love. I know you wouldn't want to accept it, but that is the truth. And what's your point? Change her. I know you can do that if you want to do it. It's evident that her father spoiled her as the only child. But you can do something if you want to do it. That girl loves you so much. Especially now that your preaching is making sense to her. Listen. Pour out exactly how you feel to her. And leave the magic to her. Just tell her how you feel. Everything will be fine. So, I want you to meet someone special. 
bride. This is Tonya. Tonya, this is bride. I'm going to leave you too. Father, like I said before, Tony and I are cool. Nothing is wrong. Anthony, I know you understand what I mean, don't you? Now, let us dialogue. Father and son, I am quite conversant with the fact that you are oblivious of my feelings towards your behavior in this matter. Alright? Um, I have waited patiently for you to propose marriage to her, but you are not forthcoming. And I've been asking myself what is responsible for this, but I've not been able to place a finger on it. Now tell me, is there anything about her that um, you are not quite comfortable with? Yes. A lot of them. A lot. You see, I like Sonia. Yes. Yes. I won't dispute the fact that I like her. I do. But you see, she's not the kind of woman I can settle for. But that she's a freak. Yes, I won't disregard that. She loves a lot of things. She's not a bad person. I am not going to say that, uh, yes, because of that, and I'll call her a bad person. No. She does things on impulse, especially spending. This lady has no plans for herself. Not now, not tomorrow, not in the future. Huh. Let me ask you this, son. Do you think she loves you? <laughs> oh, yes, I, I believe so. Good. Um, and from the look of things, you equally love her. I mean, from what I'm saying. Perhaps uh, the things you enumerated are responsible for your doubt in her love for you. But you can change all that. Father, you see, it's very obvious that you don't even know Tonya. Oh. You don't know her at all. Hmm. That lady is fixed. Not even her father can change her. And that's the reason she left her father's mansion. But you can change all that. Except you don't believe in the power of love. How? Let me educate you, son. You see, when two people are in love, they can do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do just for the sake of love. I mean, Sonia is just 24 and you can mold her. Mold her to any shape you want. But I am not a sculptor anyway. Anthony, you can joke over this, but I'm not joking. Her father may not be able to influence her. But you can. Do you know why? You have the highest weapon to change her. And that weapon is love. I want you to go and think over what I've told you.
<laughs> Why are you laughing like a matter too much? Can you stop now? <laughs> okay, fine, fine, I'll stop. But she wouldn't blame me. Okay. To answer your previous question. Yes, I know you had eyes on me from the very first day our parents introduced us. Really? Yes. You were only playing hard to get for a reason best known to you. But I knew it won't last. Is that what you think? No. It's what I know. Okay, tell me. Don't you love me? Mm -hmm. I don't know for now. But I'd rather use the word like at the stage. Playing with words, I guess. Well, it's common with the royals. So I understand. I've a minute to ask. Why don't you like taking me to the palace? We've made love countless times here, but I wonder when it will happen at your place. My father, the king, wouldn't let me be because of you. I cannot take you to the house and have anything with you around because I wouldn't want to send the wrong signal to him. I wouldn't want that at all. A wrong signal? What's that? He wants us to get married immediately. And it's clear that you, we've not gotten to that stage yet. I wouldn't know if you're ready to make a sacrifice for a relationship. Is that what you really think? Look, Anthony. I know I am stubborn. But you don't know what falling for you had made me do. Like things I would ordinarily not think of. You are clearly the one who is not ready to sacrifice for a relationship. Um, Prince Anthony, you have been with this girl for God knows how long. I wonder why she still behaves the way she does. This is unlike you, for God's sake. That girl is a couch head who only prefers the fun part of it. A perpetual fun seeker. Can you imagine? This girl asking me to go catch fun with her on a Tuesday morning. Who does that? Can you imagine? I can imagine it, Prince Anthony. Prince Anthony, what I cannot understand is you haven't been able to change this girl. This is unlike you, for God's sake. Change who? Tony. It's like you don't you don't know that girl. Her character is, is a default. At this point, I don't think there's something else I can do. There's a lot for you to do, Prince Anthony. It's obvious you're fond of this girl. Judging from who you are, it's only one thing, love. I know you wouldn't want to accept it, but that is the truth. And what's your point? Change her. I know you can do that if you want to do it. It's evident that her father spoiled her as the only child. But you can do something if you want to do it. <sighs> Let me ask you this, son. Do you think she loves you? <laughs> oh, yes, I, I believe so. Good. Um, and from the look of things, you equally love her. I mean, from what I'm saying. Perhaps uh, the things you enumerated are responsible for your doubting her love for you. But you can change all that. Father, you see, it's very obvious that you don't even know Tonya. Oh. You don't know her at all. Mm. That lady is fixed. Not even her father can change her. 
and that's the reason she left her father's mansion. But you can change all that. Except you don't believe in the power of love. How? Let me educate you, son. You see, when two people are in love, they can do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do just for the sake of love. I mean, Sonia is just 24 and you can mold her. Mold her to any shape you want. Father, I am not a sculptor anyway. Anthony, you can joke over this, but I'm not joking. Her father may not be able to influence her, but you can. me obviously uh. For how long have you been standing here well um, long enough to notice that my son my lovely son the heir to my throne the crown prince of Okwara kingdom is worried deeply in thought but what I don't know is what is responsible so what is it is it um, work no father work is fine hmm. yeah so what could it be ah it must be about a woman isn't it oh father come on stop, stop. <laughs> I knew it and I'm sure that woman must be Tonya. Look, son, if you need anything, any help, tell me. If you have any problem, tell me. I'll be able to solve it for you. Father, I thank you for your concern. I, I, I do appreciate. But I will be happy if you should allow me to do things my way. If you say so, um, I will have the results. It's okay, then. If you like. All right. Oh, I'm in love. The marriage stuff was just the easiest means for you to achieve this lifelong ambition. Jane, my father wants to use me as a bait to rid the royal family off their, their, their page on the oil and gas ladder.
this is the first time I felt able to speak to me that chair. But then, I could feel the heat in his voice. I am being full without me noticing it. He's getting reports on me and Prince Anthony on a daily basis. And he believes I am the reason why he has not proposed yet. Look, I want to love Prince Anthony because I am attracted to him. And also because of the splendor that is attached to royalty. I've been mates and cards at your beck and call. This is all new to me. Tony, what's in the song? Where is this man? Shut up! Just shut up, shut up!
Um, please have to You have to calm down. Just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. It's all your fault. My fault? Yes. How is it my fault, Miss Anthony? <laughs> You're asking me, how is your fault? It's you, my father, all of you. I had my reservation with that girl, but my father will let me be. Even my best friend will sink the undying love about the same girl in my ears. Have you seen where it has landed me? Are you happy now? Oh, please stop, Miss Anthony. Stop it right this minute. Stop! It's bad enough that she's the cheat and her father, the manipulator, should be blamed for it, not me. You should be blamed for it. You, my father. You people made me to profess love towards her and also marriage. You caused it. How, Prince Anthony? Prince Anthony, you went there because you realized how deep your love is for her. You went there because for your quest and for high moral standard. So what are you talking about? Because of you and my father. What I'm trying to say is you and my father created the thought of loving her in my head at the first place. I knew my limit with her until you came with your solicited advice. I caused it. This is your fault. Um, please, Anthony, you have to calm down. I know how hot you are and not in the right state of mind at the moment. Just calm down. Calm down for God's sake. Hey! hey. Oh, my God. Of course! Yes, it is true! Put it down. You will put it down, you will not put it down. Hey! What is here? What would hey! you do? I'm asking you. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop it. There's no way to go, just drop it. Only! Only plate, drop it. You will drop it. Drop it, I'm not leaving it. I will not leave it. Hey! You will drop it. Well, you want to beat me up there? You want to beat me up there? You want to beat me up there? Hey! People come and see! You want to pick your job on the planting? You have just started, only! Only! Oh, no. oh, no. Leave this thing off! Leave what? Leave this thing off! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! You are not going to go with that! Only! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Okay! Hey! Stop! Stop! Let's see what happens now! She's been to me! Hey! She's been to me! Hey! She's been to me! She's been to me! Fighting cannot solve this situation. If I can. she said something. Why are you keeping us in suspense? What happened? Okay. Get fair, Melon. Eh? Come on, come on, come on. Follow, 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 follow. Don't forget. I'm gonna forget. I was just coming back from the farm, JJ, on my own. Why now stop going on the way? Attack me, oh! Next thing she saw these boys and told them that I was trying to beat her. These boys helped me and she took my plantain from me. Wait, wait, wait. Why did she collect the plantain from you? What did you do to her? Wait, did they hurt you? They, they don't fit now. Can they? They cannot. Okay. They only hurt my hands. 
Why did Nonsense. she collect the plantain from you? Make her heart in the air. Eh? What did Just you do to her? Try it next time. Just try it next time. Papa, don't ask me. Go and ask her. And as you're asking her, won't her? Won't that woman you call a wife? Won't know ya? Because I, the next time she will see me on the road again, won't this thing. What the hell is no sense again? What her? Nine. Go and warn Ungozi. Warn Ungozi to leave my daughter and I alone. They should stay on their own and let us be. Warn her. Warn her. Eh? Nebechi. Yeah. Yeah, Ungozi. 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 What is it? What is it? Why are you calling my name like that? Why did you attack Nebechi on her way, coming back from the farm? Attack who? You heard me. She told you that and you believe that. Okay, what happened? Eh. Yes, what happened? Good. What happened was that she told Ima to go and cut my plantain heads from my farm. Do I have to remind you that the farm you refer to as yours belongs to me? Nanyi, I am your wife and so it belongs to me as well. Likewise, Chinwe. Chinwe is my wife. So she has the cell right. So the farm belongs to her too. I say, I say, I say that's a very big lie. Because I will never say anything with an intruder. Yes. See, whatever name you like, you can call her. That will not change the fact that she's my wife. And she has equal right with you. And let me even ask you, who even told you that she's the one that told a man to come down the plantain? Who told you that? I am the one that told the man to call down the plantain and ask Lebechi to go and bring it up. Yes! Nine. So you now want to share my property, my right, with a total stranger. Okay? Stranger? Yes! Ngozi! 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 How many times did I call you? Three times! Three good times! You will hear from me. Three times! You will hear from I'm me. I'm not hearing Ngozi. anything! You will hear from I'm me! I'm not hearing anything! I'm not hearing anything! I will not hear anything! People have not seen anything, no? That's why you have not seen anything. Don't wait for me, I'm coming. You have not seen anything. Gossing, 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 gossing. You should change the name. You have not seen anything. Don't wait. That's what you are. You are shocking. You are shocking. You are shocking. You are Stop there, young man. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Huh? You left this house this morning. I've been calling your lines, your phone switched off. I've been worried sick only for you to return and walk past me. What kind of rubbish is that? I look at you, you are smelling alcohol. What happened? God. Do you really care to know what happened? It's Tonya. Tonya and the father. That happened. What is the meaning of that? This is a joke, Anton. Is it? A joke that would have wrecked our lives. So, Okadike was playing me for a fool. Oh. He wanted to plant a mole in my house. I am this close to propose a marriage to his daughter. And this was all your fault. What you would have brought upon is... Will you keep quiet? Shut your mouth! How would I have known that he wasn't genuine? 
Am I a seer? Father, you are not a seer, but he keep singing the litany of his good wills and also praising him. Father, if I had gone ahead with this marriage arrangement, I wouldn't have forgiven you. Young man, mind the way you speak to me. I am your father and the king. I know who you are and I know what you are. But this will serve as a learning curve to my father, the king. Have a nice day. Ukadiki. Ukadiki. You have woken up the sleeping lion. You have stepped on the python's tail. Oh, I was so deep. I will so deal with you. Yes. Book an appointment. A dinner appointment for me and the governor tomorrow. Yes. Thank you. Ukadiki, wait for me. You've not won this perfume before, have no, you? No, no, no. It just arrived from Paris. Oh. oh. It smells expensive. Although not clean, but I like the fragrance. Buy one for me. The perfume costs a fortune. And I cost more than the whole world put together. You think so? Of course, I know so. Look, Prince Anthony, I am your girlfriend. And I deserve to be treated like a princess. Well, I bought one. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow. So what are we celebrating? Truth. You got me here. You really, really got me here. Of course. You know I always do. But Anthony, I thought you were angry at me. Hence I got this drink so we could settle and make peace. <laughs> but it's obvious you're cool. As you can see. Tell me, you were mad at me, right? I was. So what changed? Because I didn't sense any anger in you when I walked in. Yeah, I decided to let it go because your presence changed everything, you know. You know you know how to push things away, make things right. I know, right? <laughs> but that wasn't cool. I know you lived an adventurous life, but you should know when to relax. Let go of it already. I'm sure the taste of this wine is more valuable than talking about the past. She should find a better way to say I'm sorry than trying to touch it. <laughs> okay, if that's what you want to hear, I am sorry. <gasps> what? I said I'm sorry already before you kill me with those big eyes of yours. See, I'm hungry. Come and take me out for lunch. Okay. I want to do Chinese. You want to do what? Chinese. Chai? What? Yes. Sorry? <laughs> Stop playing! <laughs> you had fun, right? Yes, Good. I did. Good. You do not treat a woman right. <laughs> this is just the first compliment I'm getting from you. So ever. Mm, that's because you've not treated me well in a long while. Uh -huh. But you said I know how to treat a woman. You just said it now. Don't get over excited yet. That was just a smam. <laughs> but we can we can actually change that at my place. That's if you want to. Oh God, come on. Going through this conversation again, I told you I have a business meeting to meet up with at four. Which can wait, Anthony. You know you can actually reschedule this meeting. When will you give me the time I deserve? Instead, stop making excuses with your work. I was actually working at the office when you came in, but I gave you an attention, huh? Because I like you. I even took you for a lunch. There he goes again, using the word like on me instead of love. Tonya, I won't... It's fine. It's okay. Just take me up. you knock on the door before coming in. I'm so sorry, sir. Next time, don't try it, okay? Okay, sir. Um, sir, it's 10 minutes to the meeting and everything is set. The HR manager, is it at all? Yes, he's at the boardroom already. No problem, can I go now? Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> I wish you not picking my calls. Was I harsh on her when I rejected her offer? Was I harsh when I told her that I was in a meeting? But she was expecting me to 
dish my mate and come over to make love to her. That's ridiculous. Who does that? I know you're going to cut this one for me. But please, don't kill the batch with your SS calls and chat and messages. Oh, Tonya, I'm glad you finally picked. How are you? Oh, are you waiting to hear I'm fine? After what you did? Look, Anthony, you're so mean. Tonya, come on. Come on. I told you that I was rushing out for a business meeting. You don't expect me to just leave that line out to come see you just for sex? Is this why you called? Look, I'll just end this call if it, this is why you called. It, it is bad enough that you care less about my feeling. But you calling just to justify your action is what I will not take. Today I'm so sorry. Huh? The truth is that I... I never expected to hurt your feelings. Okay? We just... Came back together again and uh, we don't need to fight. I am glad you know we just made up. That was why I wanted us together. Or oh, haven't you heard of the word sex after fight and the old fun that comes with it? But you just ruined everything. I said I am sorry. I am going to make it up to you. Okay. That's if you promise not to do it again. And two, you have to get me that perfume. I promise, I promise I won't do it again, okay? Yeah. And for the perfume, I've already ordered it. And again, I want us to do lunch together tomorrow. Oh. This is the prince I fell in love with talking. But I think um, something was omitted. Okay, what could that be? Never mind. Leave matter for my tires. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it tomorrow over lunch, okay? Bye, I love you. So now we'll never change. Stop! Oh, yeah, stop! Stop! Stop it! Come on! Oh. Oh. You're so smart. You're so naughty. And somebody so likes it that way. If not, it would be one meeting of the other. Is that what it is now? Anyway, that is not why I'm here. Okay. 
it's not very good. Tell me you're here because I wouldn't let you rest. No. No. Tell me I am the bad girl and you are the famous Saint Anthony of Padua. Come on, Victoria. You know I mean it that way. All right, all right, all right. What I'm trying to say is this. I... I want us to be together. I mean, it feels good to be with you. I knew it. I know you always want to see me like this, but your no pain, no pay manta wouldn't allow you to just admit it. Well, I'm glad you just did it. It means you're progressive. And I want to use the word good and not better. It's a reason. <laughs> Look, Anthony, I don't understand you one bit. Why are you trying to make me angry? I thought the phone we just had. Why? I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. I'm just being concerned as a friend. Look, Anthony. You shouldn't have come if you don't want to be here. Don't make it look like I forced you. You're not a baby, are you? Tony, I try and understand me. Understand what? Understand how you want to choke me with your unsolicited advices. Are you my father? This is one of the reasons I left the house. But truth be told, my father never bugged me this much. So please. Tell her calm down and listen to me. Okay? You are a graduate. You came with good grades. All I'm trying to say is that you can actually engage yourself with something very reasonable. I mean you can you, you have your dad has a company, you can work for your dad. Work for my dad? Yes. Like nine to five. Like nine to five. Hell no. I don't have time for such luxury. I won't do it. Tony, and you see, you can actually open a supermarket and start selling stuffs rather than buying stuffs. Okay? You can meet Tony. I'm doing all these things for your good. So in this life, you won't depend on anybody. You won't depend on me, or your family, or any man. You need to be open doing. Start doing something. Eh? What is this now? Are you going to be on that duvet all the rest of your life? The sign of who she is has always been there. But I was too blind to notice them. How did I even think I could make her my wife? What was I thinking? Well, I can't be here thinking about such girl. She definitely doesn't want it. Thank God I missed the bullet. But this will be the last time the last thing I'll take from my father. I would never take it again. Never. <laughs> ah, poor how I brought that. Uh, yes, I thought by now you'd be at the palace. The messenger told me he was in your house long before coming to my house. Oh, wow. See the way. Huh? You are asking as if you don't know already. Huh? Ah. Iche, are you telling me they started again this morning? After all I said to them two days ago. You just said two days. You are talking about two days. This one, they fight every day. They started this morning, probably because 
of the one they could not finish last night. They started it this morning. Eh? Uh huh. Ha! You can't always watch it, but I know. Oh, it may open. Eh? Must they fight every day? Even the wives of Deoba, famous for Ogechi and Inkiru, they don't fight every day. Why? Why? My own wives, they do every day. Except if there's no strength. But you know my problem. Anytime I am in my house and there was calm, he will lose as if I am in the wrong place. Hey. I know there is problem between two of them. But not to this extent. Eh? There is more to this. Let us leave this discussion for another day. Eh? We are late already. Let us go to the palace. Uh, by the way, do you know why the Igwe has summoned all the council of the others? Um, Ichi, I don't know. And uh, I asked the messenger this question. He said he knew nothing about it. I just hope that uh, nothing bad happened. Huh? I think we have to go on our way. Ah, let us go. Let us hold it. Why is Ben asking me what is this rubbish about? Uh, Sire, I tried stopping her, but she forced herself in. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So you still have the nerves to show your face in my office after everything? Huh? Do you please? I'm sorry. Please, you have to forgive me. Honestly, I didn't know you were going to come early that day. I, I swear, it was my first time and I will never do it again. Please. Oh. You didn't know I was going to come that early. I think that's your uh, defensive line. Huh? It will, it, it will never happen again. Anyway. It's none of my business. Do you understand? Now get up and leave my office. Antony, please hear me out. Please, you, you can't just abandon all we share because of this single mistake. Please. You call it a mistake? Oh, really? It was a single mistake. And what about your father's plans? Surprise, surprise. I got you there. I was at your doorstep for 10 minutes, practicing how to ask the big question before you bless my ear with all the truth. The big question? You wanted to propose? Of course. I wanted to propose. But thank you for making me see how foolish I am. That is not going to work. Please. You've actually said goodbye to yourself. Please. And that is a goodbye for you. Now get up and leave my office. Now, Sorry. get out of my office. Get out of my Sorry. office, you won't like what I'll do to you.
to peel this bell on the front of the house but i could not stand your co-wife and her stupid daughter's drama i had to come here eh? <laughs> wait till i'm coming let me bring you hey <laughs> mama <laughs> what is the excitement hey! all about so you noticed my excitement of course now mama I know whatever that that caused this kind of excitement must be very big. You are very correct. And my ears are inching me already to receive the food just Mama start talking. Adam. Mama, what? If I don't tell you, who else will like that? Amazimo! Hey, hey. <laughs> but you know what? Hmm. Before I start, hmm. that plantain that I asked him to bring, I hope you took it inside. Hmm? The plantain. But Mama, how can I do such a thing? Knowing what is at stake, I can't now. Nebechi, I wouldn't want to find out that you are lying to me. Have I ever lied to you before? I am telling you the truth. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. So can you now tell me what this joy and happiness is all about? My daughter. You won't believe the announcement we received this afternoon at the women's meeting. Tell me about it. <laughs> Adam. Mama. A new Adifi will emerge soon. Wow. Yes. That's a good news. Of course. Uh -uh. And that is why I've been so happy. Uh, yes. So. <laughs> Mama, I know. You are happy because it's not just a good news. Tell me more. What did he say? Hey, hey! You want to hear? Mm -hmm. One, mm. that new Adifi is emerging from this particular family. Chimo! Yes. Mama, that's another good news! And you know the, you know the person? That me. new Adifi is my beloved daughter, Chamaka Okoye Ibe! That is me! Yes! Hi! Mama! This is good news. Yes, oh my this daughter. This is really good news. Good news indeed. I couldn't contain my joy ever since that announcement was made. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy right now. The Igwe, all the cabinet chiefs, the decision makers know exactly the main reason for the long delay. And it doesn't matter anymore. As long as our family will benefit from it. Mama, do, do, does it matter? <laughs> the end point is that our family was chosen. 
And you know what? We should be celebrating, Mama. <laughs> hey, of course. Mama, eh? Okay. Now I know the reason for the drama in front of the house. That is the reason. They have not seen anything yet. Yes. The real drama will show when you have finally been crowned the new Adifi. Hi, hey, Mama. Hmm? I cannot wait. Oh. So people will be paying homages to me. Bam. Ah, oh, Bam. <laughs> you have it. Yes, sir. And I will be walking around the village with my audience and mates. Bam. Hey! You have it. You have it. <laughs> you have it. Mama, it don't just end like that. Okay. Um, people will go around the village bowing down to me. Oh! When they it. see me, they will bow down to say, Greetings, Adife. Mm -hmm. May your days be long. Mm -hmm. The new Adife. Mm -hmm. Mama, watch me now. Hey! I will now walk like this. You have it. I'll walk like this. You have it. I'll walk like this. You have it. I'll walk like this. You have it. You have it. Hey! <laughs> you know it exactly. You know it. I know it. Mm. You will consider those two as your mates. Mm. But that will be over my dead body. Never! Calm down, my daughter. It hasn't gotten to the extent of swearing. No, ma, it has gotten to that and even beyond. Huh. Ah, ah! You know these people? I will not give them any chance. Near a chance. You know what they can do? I will not. Wait. Wait. I say you should calm down. Okay? We shouldn't behave like them just to put them on check. We cannot behave like mad people because we are living with mad neighbors. No, 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 no. I disagree with you. A sane man cannot be living with a mad person. For now, it is either he packs his things and leaves, or he will become mad to be able to match his mad neighbor's energy. And in this situation, Mama, the first option is a no no. So we are left with just the second option. Rubbish! No! Mama, between Amaka and I, who is going to be this Adif? <laughs> mm. They are down of the chosen family. Becomes the Adif. Huh? One more thing. Since the Igwe does not have a female child who becomes the Adife now automatically becomes the Adese of our village. Bam! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey, what? Mama. Inu Kwanka. I'm a man. Hey! 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 You have not told us uh, <laughs> on him. <laughs> when exactly are they going to crown my daughter? When is the coronation taking place? Uh, I think the coronation will be as soon as possible. Very, very soon. <laughs> very soon. It will it take place within this weekend? Uh, Papa? Hmm? You said the Ada of the chosen family will become the Adif. And I ask, who is the Ada of this family? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Get quiet! Shut it up! Shut it up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What sort of stupid question is that? I'm asking you! What sort of stupid question is that? Oh, you're stretching your mouth, you're asking questions. What do you mean? Oh, so how dare you? You want to begin to rub shoulders with my daughter, my precious daughter in this house. The first daughter, mm. the only legitimate daughter mm -hmm. of this family. Ah, Jideba. What do you mean by the only legitimate daughter of this family? Eh? <laughs> Keep quiet! Keep quiet! You see? 
your little secret. You have just opened it now into the thin air. Yes, that is what you have done. What secret are secret? you talking about? You want me to tell you? What do you mean by secret, little secret? Mm -hmm. Say it. Which secret are you talking about? Say that secret. Let's hear. Okay. Jenwen, who is the father of... Huh? What? Uh, what do you mean by that? Um, yeah. <laughs> who is the father of... Nah, you look at Ibanki. Why are you looking at me? What is it, my daughter? Talk to me. Mama, is it true? Is what true? What Mamaka said out there? Is it true? Oh, oh. It's all about Ngozi's unguided utterances. Nebechi, my daughter, you should have known that woman by now. That she says whatever she wants to say at any time. No matter how wrong they are. Mama, this is different. This is different. It is not the first time she's saying it and the seriousness on her face it's so much to be swept under the carpet. So what point are you making exactly? Who is my biological father? Onyebunam! Did you ask me that question? Did you? Pichu, I want to ask you again. Who is the father of Nebechi? I'm asking you. Are you her father? Ngozi. Ngozi. Nine. What is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with you? Why do you like creating unnecessary problem? Now, let me ask you. What do you really want? Bam! That is it. Very good question. Very, very good question. Akaraka, Akari Amko, send her straight to her father's compound. And do the same thing to her mother. Send the mother back to her father's compound. Oh, wow. That's good. Huh? That's what I'm sitting down. No, hey, Mama. Mama, sorry. No sense. So you now believe what that woman says over mine? No, Mama. But I need answers. I have been called the bastard by some people in this village, both men and women, and I keep telling you about it. I can't just continue to overlook these things. Mama, who is my father? Who is my father? When you are ready, you come in. Mama? Mama? Mama. Mama. Nebechi, what you did last night was uncalled for. I mean, how could you? Mama. But I have said I am sorry now. It's me, oh. You're from Boraya. Because then. Honestly, this is not funny. You went over the line. Mama, that is why I am trying to come on the line. Nebechi. Okay, no jokes. I'm sorry. Because That's alright. That's alright. I've forgiven you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. You're welcome, my daughter. You're welcome. Okay, let me help you. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you can do it? Mama. But I've been doing this before oh, now. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. I only apologize to my mother because I don't want her to be sad. But the truth remains that I am not convinced yet. The way Mama and Maka talks about this and the ones coming from outsiders are really giving me a serious cause for concern. I am just confused on what or whom to believe on this. 
Should I go to Mama and Maka to find out this from her? I won't do such a thing. That will certainly give her another thing to gloat over my mother. But how then am I going to find out the truth? Oh my God. Nebechi. 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 So it has gotten to the extent of you walking past me without recognizing or greeting me. I'm so sorry. Good morning. I was just lost in thought. I'm sorry. What are you thinking? Yeah. Nothing serious. Nothing serious? <laughs> okay, oh. where is your father? He was at home when I left. Okay. Let me go and see him. I'm here to see the midwife or doctor. But I'm peace. How did it go? Hope they made it. Calm down, Mr. Ibe. The surgery was successful. My mm -hmm. wives gave birth to two beautiful baby girls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Can I see them now? Rather, midwife. Oh, sorry, midwife. How are they doing? Can, can I see them? Both of them are doing great. You <laughs> do. <laughs> 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 so thank you very much. Thank you very much. So let me see them. Um, I, I don't think you can see them now. There are some procedures. We need to take care of them. Hey, doctor, what's the situation? Both of them have been united with their daughters in the world, but they are still asleep. <laughs> okay, but, but can, can I see them at least? Um, all right. Doctor, please, take them to the ward. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Oh, 
heard everything you said. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You keep referring to me as a doctor. My husband was a doctor before he died. I might be the one in charge of this hospital now, but I'm only a midwife. The truth is, I'm constantly doing my job. <laughs> and you're doing it excellently. Yeah. That's our standard here. We try to be as professional as we can. Thanks for the compliments. Yeah. Thank you once again. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah. You're yes. welcome. Please, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I have something to do inside. It's okay. Please, it's okay. So now, I'm the father of two beautiful babies. <laughs> God, I thank you. But, Ibe, why didn't you ask her who put to bed first? Uh, it doesn't matter. The most important thing right now is that the surgery went well and my wives and babies are in good condition. Ibe, I know why I'm saying so and it's very important. It's okay, I've heard you. I'll ask her later. But right now, I need to go and get some stuff for my wives. Are you coming with me? Of course. <laughs> I never knew it will come to this, honestly. But I warned you, or didn't I? You even told me that you are going to ask later. But you never did. Look at the result now. Okoha, like I said, let us forget about the past. What do you think I should do now to come out of this mess? Forget the past, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> no problem. For me, I think there is no problem. Just pick one of them and name your other. Yes, close. <laughs> but you and I know it will not work. Why? Because they have already known that I don't know whom the other is. So pick it anyone. We need the other one to make case out of it. And you know what that means? Huh? I didn't think of that. Oh. Hi. Yes, yes, Okuawula. Ah. We have to pay a visit to the midwife. EJ. I am very sure she will definitely remember. What are we waiting for? Kaigawa na Agawa. That is it. Huh? Hi. I hope someone is. I'm guided to call. I'm not a <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you doing, my son? I'm fine, sir. Uh, please, we're looking for Madame Pace, the midwife. Is she in? My madam? <laughs> She's not in. Uh, she traveled to Aquara Village, but she'll be coming back very soon. How soon? Because we really want to see her. It's so gentle. Okay, I see. Uh, she'll be coming back very soon. Uh, within the weekend, she will return. Hope there is no problem. Mom, there is no problem. Hmm? Just tell her that we visited. We will be coming back to see her. Huh? It's very important. There's no problem. Yeah. I, I, will, I will tell her once she returns. Okay. Let's go. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello? Fighting cannot serve this situation. If I'm not can now solve this situation If I'm not It's only love If I'm not Only love If I'm not It's only love If I'm not Only But keep your distance from people who we never and meet they around Cause they will always try to make it feel like it's all your fault. No. 